Salutations and good morrow everyone welcome back to another grounded update video where today we're going to be hopping in and talking something that was just added in the update last night and that is what the heck is this jar right here and what the heck does it have in it so before we do that make sure you guys hit the like button don't forget to leave me a comment down below what you think could have came out of this jar and also please don't forget to subscribe but let's talk about it shall we so what they did in the most recent update to the public test server is they did go through and add a couple small things to the game so they did fix a couple bugs but one of the biggest things that they did was add this big old jar into the game right here Lord only knows what could be in here There's no sort of label on the jar as of yet. Uh, ooh, you can actually see all the sticky on the inside of the label That's gross. But anyway, um, there is though a milk molar in here that you can get which you know bonus milk molar is always needed when it comes to grounded but what this throws into my mind is what they could have lived inside of this jar what could they have put inside of this jar? What is their secret? Can you get out of the jar? I don't know. I literally can't get out of the jar. This isn't good. Like, literally, I can't get out. Jump, Tiny Pete. What? Sooner or later. Well, get, ooh, ooh, hang time. That's not what we want. All right, get out. Okay. That was frustrating. But um, I'm finally out of the jar. Bring something in there to build with if you want to get out because that is really difficult. Or just like bring a grass plank in there and throw it so you can run on the grass plank. But there is something I want to point out. The lid doesn't have holes in it. This lid doesn't yet have holes in it, which makes me think either this is a specimen jar where something wasn't meant to be carried for very long, or it was a type of food maybe that got out of the yard. But the most creepy thing in my mind that I could think of is some sort of bug that you wouldn't normally find in this environment that is now walking around for you to find. So, who knows? Maybe there's going to be some sort of large bug now that we run into in the backyard. Maybe we're going to run into a praying mantis. Hint, hint. Maybe we're going to be running into all sorts of other things that could possibly come into the game, like a tarantula or Don't something else that doesn't it. really live in this temperate sort of environment, but could very well live here now because of a jar that's been opened up. Now, it could be something simple like the uh, jar that held all of the milk molars in it before they got uh, spilled all over the place. It could be that. I don't think so. The ground team's a little bit more in depth than just putting in a random jar and saying, ah, it's where the milk molars came from. Also, I feel like that they would have just put a yolk girth uh, label on the outside of it while they added it. But this thing is pretty big, so it definitely could hold something fairly large in it. But that's really the only thing that I've seen in the yard so far that got updated since this last update. All they did was a bug fix as well. They didn't add any new weapons. I'll go into the weapons and I'll show you guys. There is no more weapons that got added in here. So we're still missing our spicy weapon that we're all hoping to get. I'm hoping for a two-pronged pitchfork, personally. That's stabby stabby. Uh, I'm hoping for that. But that's my opinion that I think that we're going to be getting. But really, they didn't really add anything else uh, to the update besides this big glass jar. So I know this video is kind of short, but really the more important thing about this video is asking you guys, what do you think could be inside of this jar? Because this jar is very large and it's obviously a specimen jar and it's extraordinarily hard to get out of. So be careful when you get in there. But really guys, down in the comments, let me know what you think the Obsidian team is going to put inside of this jar for us to either do battle with or a resource that we get a little bit later on. But thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button for me. I know you guys want to see more please also don't forget to leave me a comment down below and also please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one